Hi, I welcome all of you in my channel and in this video in which I am going to discuss the second part of latent scale design. So first of all, I will discuss the ANOVA table, the formulas after that data, then how we will record the data for A's in the calculations after that I'm, I will solve the whole question. So first of all, how you will start calculate the total number of data points. You got this N, this N will be used here four times. Then calculate how many levels of each factor do you have. So we have equal number of factors for treatment, rows and columns. So you will write, the, you will get the P here and the same P value you can use in the degrees of freedom. After that, go for Y, I, J, K whole scale. So, so I suggest you people to first of all calculate the total SST. So it is sum of square of total. So in order to calculate it, Take the square of each individual value, then sum all of the individual uh, squares, uh, squared values, you will get this term. Okay. Now we talk about this y triple dot whole square. What is it, this? When you take the sum of all individual observations, we call it y triple dot and taking its square. And we also call this value as our grand total gt grand total or you can uh, we can call it grand sum so is it is up to you that what you will uh, give it the name after that we will done with the sum of square total then y i dot dot this is basically the sum of the rows for example if we have a three cross three latent square design how many rows we have three so we, we can write it y one dot dot this is the sum of the first row y2 dot dot sum of second row and y3 dot dot sum of the third row likewise after that we will calculate over sum of the columns so we have three columns you can see y dot dot k we, we can write it y dot dot one sum of the first column sum of the second column and sum of the third column then we will talk about our treatments. We in the latent scale design, we represent our treatments by the alphabets, latent alphabet A, B, and C. So either you can call it Y dot J dot. So either you can call it dot one dot or you can call it Y dot A dot. Okay. Most conveniently in your book design and design analysis of experiment by Montgomery, they have used Y dot one dot. So it is the sum of first treatment or you can say you will have to sum up all of the values that are related with the A. Then Y dot two dot take the sum of all the values associated with the B. So repeat the same step for the third year level C. So once you have done with all this uh, sum of scares, it is quite easy to calculate the rest of the work. So after that, calculate degrees of freedom. So if, if we have three levels, we, you can calculate three minus one is equal to two. So two, two and uh, three square, nine minus one, eight. Obviously, we will get the rest of two degrees of freedom for the error term. After that, calculate the MS, mean square of the error. MS is basically the standard deviation in which we divide the numerator, the square term with their degrees, respective degrees of the freedom. So divide the sum of square of treatment by its respective degree of freedom. We get MS of treatment, MS of rows, MS of blocks. And this term will give us MS of error, MSE. Okay. Here the book, uh, the book have calculated the F naught value for only treatments. However, if you want to find that whether my Nisense factors are significant or not. So please calculate F02 and you will calculate it by MS of rows divided by MS of error. And after that, if you want to calculate your F0 value for the third factor or second Nisense factor, you will have to divide MS of columns divided by MS of error. So by using by comparing all these three f naught values with their respective tabulated values you will get the knowledge or uh, information that whether my three which of my three factors is found to be a significant one let's go towards the data initially i have this data file so in this data file 
we have five number of rows. So my first Nysense factor is batches of raw material. There are five operators that have been used. So I have five levels for the second Nysense factor. We have A, B, C, D, E, five latent alphabets. So five levels for the treatments. However, these values are quite large, 24, 38, 31. It will be quite difficult for you to perform the calculations either using the calculator or I can say uh, manually without the calculator. So we will do the coding of this original data. This coding of original data, it doesn't affect our results. It doesn't affect our F0 values. So how we'll do the recoding? We will subtract a digit from all of these observations, but the digit should be same for all. Let's suppose we subtract 25 from all these observations. So 25, 24 minus 25, it will be equal to minus one. You can see it there, it's minus one. Okay, 20 minus 25, again, it's minus five. Look at this, okay. Like 30, uh, 30, 22 minus 25, minus three. So please do the, this coding. This coding will help you in getting the data that will be quite smaller, just like minus one, minus eight. So you can do the calculation quite easily. After once you have done with the coding, next step is to calculate the treatment sum. So y dot one dot, it is the sum for A, first alphabet. Let's write here, A minus one and five, five minus one, four, 4 and 1, 5, 5 and 2, 7, 7 and 11, 18. Let's do it for factor B also. So minus 8, minus 5, minus 13, minus 23, sorry, 8 and 5, minus 13, minus, minus 18, and then minus 20, minus 24. Let me confirm it by once again. I have computed the sum for all of my treatment level. Let's go towards the sum of rows and columns. This is quite easy for you to calculate it. So this you will calculate the sum of this first row, minus one, minus five, this is equal to minus six, minus 12, minus 13, minus 14. So you will calculate similarly all of them, then do it same for the columns. Minus nine, minus 16, 15, and minus 15, minus three, minus 18. So you will get these five values and these five values. These are important for you to perform the calculations and y triple dot the grand sum, okay, grand total, it's, it's comes out to be 10. Now in the next part of the video, I will show you that about the over table, our conclusions, our decision on the hypothesis. Thanks a lot for watching the video. Bye.